Hello everyone, welcoming you all to the Data Oasis. Ethereum for the clueless, but for the people who are curious. Now, ever felt like your data is out there, just out there. It's like, you know, it's floating around the internet like a digital tumbleweed. Uh, yeah, we too. But you know, companies tracks your every click, bombard you with the targeted ads for things you never ever search for. You know, seriously, they showed me an ad about phone cases, you know, but I never use one, you know, I never use a back cover or something. And, and, and well, let's not even get started on the great social media data breach off. Well, every other week, that just happened. So in this picture, of, there's an entry of something called Ethereum. It's the savior of your digital soul. But before, uh, you know, you start composing IQs about data liberation, let's break down this blockchain based platform actually does. Right. So imagine a world where you, <laughs> absolutely you, you're in control of your data, not just the photos and cat videos, mm, although they are valuable, you know, but still, you know, but all that says that get collected, your fitness tracker stats, music listening habits, and even the questionable internet history that you have, uh, by the way, nothing to worry about, we all have them, so nothing to judge. Mm, Ethereum lets you turn this data into something revolutionary. and which they call as data nft we'll get back to it what this actually is so yeah <coughs> so think of it as a very fancy you know digital certificate of ownership except instead of board ape with laser eyes it's for all you know well it's data uh, now you might be thinking like where on who on earth would want to buy my data you know, buckle up buttercup because here's where the things get very interesting, you know. So, re so there are a lot of real world use cases that aren't as boring as watching a uh, paint dry. See, uh, you might have some sort of music, you are a music maverick, right? So begin rocking a killer playlist for years that gets all your friend asking, hey, what is this song? What is that song? You know, which is that music that you're vibing on? So yes, metadata NFT of your listening habits and sell it to the music streaming services or record label looking for the next big trend you know so we got the first idea was about the music right second thing could be let's say you are in a lot of fitness you know you are the fitness freak guy that's found basically in every group right so if you're a gym rat basically right who meticulously track your workouts for years to and turn the data into the data nft man and you know just go sell it to the fitness companies looking for the real world user data because they want to simply improve their apps and the programs and hurry your foodie finds, right, you know. <laughs> Again, if you're a foodie, I'd say, foodie, uh, so you're ultimately, you are the ultimate restaurant reviewer on anything, uh, on any platform with a uh, screening palette and a knack for finding the hidden gems. Now, package your restaurant reviews and food photos as a data NFT Know, sell it to the food bloggers or marketing agencies the spirit for some authentic content if you have one so the possibilities here as you can see are totally endless as the internet itself although hopefully a little less creepy but ethereum isn't just about selling your data it's more about giving you the control you know it's about control right so imagine being able to choose who get access to your data and for how much you know so it's like a digital paywall but for your information you set the price you call the shots yeah, simple as that so of course ethereum is still young and there are kings to be ironed out so the user interface they build is kind of intuitive as favorite mm not as intuitive but you know it's a good one and the whole data nft market is like the wild west exciting but a little unpredictable right now but hey uh, if you're tired of being data pawn in the digital game ethereum might just be the oasis you have been searching for so you can just go dive in explore who knows maybe you'll become a data nft mogul in the process just remember with great data ownership <laughs> this that, that, that useless one you know comes great responsibilities you know use it just wisely okay um but there are more to it right now. So 
with Ethereum, you know, we are trying to welcome the future of data privacy and metaverse. And you know, as in this video, we are, you know, diving deep into the Ethereum, you know, and, and it's obviously a very groundbreaking project, you know, and it's transforming how we handle our data in the digital age. So let's take more closer look, you know. So, you know, for the fourth industrial revolution, you know, we have seen the era of data economy, right? And with three, data economy is a challenging is challenge so you know in web3 data economy is challenging the dominance of web3 giants over the user data and you know ethereum score values basically it you know it aligns specifically with the new landscape because the big internet companies basically have a mono monopoly on the data they are collecting a vast amount of it often without clear transparency but with the web3 projects you know they have started addressing this emphasizing transparency uh we have the control we have the ownership of the personal data now ethereum is taking it even a step further so they are offering you basically a very dynamic feature uh that that gives you data provider unprecedented control while many web3 projects focus on public data ethereum is designed to efficiently monetize personal data which is very diverse uh, it is very diverse right and it's subject to by the way so more f emphasis on the personal data are you getting it and 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 you know uh because see metaverse also itself has gone you know very mainstream right and uh, so you know with the metaverse going mainstream and as you've already seen back then you know i don't know is it still relevant or not but yeah they were they, it was so but the blockchain integration was a very big game changer right because you were able to provide you know something that's verifiable and it's trustless anonymity and for this to work blockchain networks need to share data and they need to communicate very seamlessly and that's where the ethereum can be very helpful and interoperability is very crucial as you all know so 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 i saw a product of ethereum called data dex you know is that was it so we have something called data decks it's evm compatible it's deployed on networks like ethereum so by the way ethereum originally comes from multiverse x ecosystem right uh, but with data decks it's so they're also working on non evm compatible right and uh, they have the data nfts that follow the erc 721 and all so uh, this was more or less you know the bigger talks about ethereum and all uh, but they quite have got a lot of things, you know, into their sleeves, you know, they have a lot of product. Uh, one of the recent product they were having was NF Tunes. It was about the music, NFTs and all. And they, by far, I guess that was something amazing product, you know, you can, um, but I think, is it solving the problem of granular tracking? I just don't know right now, but let me just see it, you know, if I could find more detail about it, I'll just post it on some blog or something, right? So, you know, here we can see Ethereum, a web project it's taking the idea of you know data economy you know a step further right because you know i've seen you know there's a lot of product but you know they have more focus on tokenizing public data right they are more about tokenizing but it's not but here it's about controls you know you know see there's a difference in the narration basically you know but you know the other uh products project web projects they have like the means to effectively monetize personal data as well so which is quite subjective and diverse ethereum is you know basically built around such and such things right and uh, integration of uh, blockchain you know it has been a very big thing for the metaverse industry as we've already talked about it right so um, I think more thing that we can have a discussion about 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 Ethereum on this video can be you know data in Web three you know it behaves like a very big asset. You now people can lend their data to verified institution for specific uses, and uh, you can get an access back to the Ethereum. Now the data is traded for decentralized exchanges, right? And we make the entire supply chain uh, completely public, right? So with this you know we will be able to see a very transparent a very prosperous 
an amazing data economy you know where the interest of a small data providers you know small data providers you know and consumers will be protected right so they have a, another you know a very primary initiative you know that's that, 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 that that's around what they call is nf me id is it nf me id right okay there's an architecture of ethereum as well we'll talk about it and they use a green room protocol for using it you know it's a green room protocol and nf me basically non fungible me it's an nft based id and these are the personal data backed soul bound metaverse avatars and they are sold one as they cannot be sold that's it you will be able to use a green room interoperability protocol to transfer various metaverse platforms um and you can you can you can share and trade your data for access to personalized features you can have also mm, you know remove certain parts of this you know and 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 and, and, and trade those as data nfts in the nft marketplace so in a short you know ethereum's nfm id these are the metaverse version of you, the real you but with you the data is also in you know full control okay so this is by far uh, more or less you know a lot of things about it and another things are the, you know data correlation uh, data correlation correlation and this is also an important thing you know because dao aggregate your personal data to maximize the value for individual providers now these dao manage large data sets and trade them in bulk on behalf of users so dao board member must spawn ethereum's native token to ensure they act in the best interest of data providers so this model i would say you know it fosters a very fair market for data and uh, makes them very trustless right and also with you know we you know even if you talk about the defi trustlessness and decentral framework these are addressing the flaws in the traditional data economy so by removing intermediaries defi allows small data creators to monetize their data small consumer to access quality data fairly and web3 is you know basically disrupting the monopolies you know it's creating a very healthy supply chain you know that's going to benefit everyone so this is by far more or less you know about hmm, ethereum and all but let's quickly take a look at we just talked about nf me and all so i'll, I'll just be showing you a very quick ar uh, architecture about ethereum right so at the bottom you know so at at the bottom what you get is basically mm, so you have basically three layers over here right you know these are let's say these are all those three layers so you have at the bottom layer right you have the cross chain protocols you get the cross chains right so you get you know elrond you know that's we called as you know, elrond over libersex solana you get evm based so whatever be it right then above that you get the data decks right so it's about the core data protocol data decks is a core protocol and you get the peer to peer p2p things uh, you have the data streams and you have data proofs um and you know when you talk about the data metaverse you have got the actual thing that we talked about nf me id and the green room thing you know green room thing um then you get you know mixing these you get the data nfts and data coalition of da the coalition da so this was by far you know more or less about it so technically i believe you know there's a very big potential in ethereum you know um because it's literally talking about your assets right you know they are trying to make your asset being controlled by you and also a source of income for you right so but the problem here still is you know the the data creators here still lack the technical loan how and we need to educate them about web3 and all the financial muscles 
and how to you know monetize the data so centralized control over enormous quantity of quality data result in unfair supply chain and it creates a lot of entry barriers for small players so this is why i guess we need the ai engines to help us do this right so the path to data ownership utopia is it without challenges user adoption we need to ensure them data security we help, have to help them establish establish a very clear regulation for data nfts and these are very big hurdles you know that we still need to address uh, but the potential benefits are undeniable ethereum offers a future where data ownership is democratized democratized and uh, the privacy is respected and individuals control their digital front so are you ready to take control of your digital soul just go and visit ethereum and join the revolution today thanks a lot for watching this particular video and i hope to see you some another video